Good morning, everyone. It is so exciting to see so many great friends and neighbors out here for such a wonderful occasion. Thank you, thank you for joining us. My name is Tony Collins. I am the director of the Your Columbus Recreation and Parks Department, and I'm very happy to be here today to celebrate to have our, our, our local neighborhood reunion here at the Driving Park Community Recreation Center. This community is so strong. I, I've, I've, since I've been here and, and been involved with this project coming out here, continually getting talked to, continually getting the messages, the support from the civic associations, the neighborhood associations, all the groups who are involved in the Driving Park community, and we appreciate your support. Driving Park's got a rich history. The center's been here since 1980. Did you all know that? 1980. It's been an incredible journey for this center, and I, I'm, I, hope, I hope that all of you have had a chance to look inside and see this newest rendition, because it's very, very incredible. It's beautiful. The building is beautiful. The swimming pool is outstanding. Kids by the hundreds have been here every single day of the summer. I've been watching them. We've had an incredible opportunity to see the, the pool open a little bit earlier, so uh, we're excited to get the center open today. I want to I want to say a couple of things, just a real quick thank you to um, the Driving Park Civic Association, the Livingston Area Commission, the Hanford Village and Deschler Park Civic Association for being here and for all of your support through this this program set up today and to get this center uh, set up and designed. Thank you to those groups. <clears throat> Is, is Miss Lee DeMond here? Is she here? I have to say a special thank you to her. Moeller Elementary, Moeller Elementary the, the school and the principal and that staff has hosted us during the construction of the center. Our center staff and their programs have been able to move over. We were able to serve kids through soccer programs, youth flag football. We had our basketball program at the elementary. So we couldn't have done this and kept the program rolling without the help of the local elementary. Thank you to them and their staff. Obviously, you can tell a lot of people care about this center. There's a ton of people here, and I can't introduce everybody. But I do want to thank our, of course, uh, Mayor Ginther is going to be up in a second, but I want to thank all of our council members who are here. There's a number of them here, including Council President Pro Tem Tyson, Council Member Jiza Page. They're absolutely fantastic to work with. And our Columbus Recreation and Parks Department Commission, our commission members are over here. They're, they've been great leaders in helping to get our master plan implemented. And of course, all of our local representatives and elected officials that help us and support us in this community, we thank you. First, by, I want to start off by having our, our chair of our Columbus Recreation and Parks Committee come up here and talk to you, because she's been just nothing but a, a, a great leader for us in council, a great support for us at council, Council Member Jiza Page. Good morning, Driving Park. It is such an honor to be out here today and to celebrate the grand opening of this wonderful new recreation center. And I would just like to first thank the leadership of Mayor Ginther, the leadership of President Klein, President Pro Tem Tyson, and my other colleagues on council, as well as all of the elected officials who have paved the way for us to be able to have this center and open it today. So let's give them all a round of a hand. I just want to go over a few of the great features that this new center has to offer our residents of Driving Park. I want to first mention that it's $10.5 million in renovations. It has a new 85,000 square foot pool, a new HVA system including air conditioning throughout the entire facility, which we know we need throughout these hot summers, and then 15,000 square feet of additional space, which includes an upgraded weight room, an additional gym, a game room, and a separate multi-purpose room and classroom. I would just like to say that we are extremely proud of the center, the Recreation and Parks Department, and those who work here at um, Driving Park. I would now like to introduce our wonderful mayor, Mayor Andrew Ginther. Good morning, Driving Park. What a great day in the city of Columbus, and I am so thrilled to be with you here today. I see our great city attorney, my lawyer, your lawyer, Rick Pfeiffer here as well, uh, and please acknowledge him for all of his great work. I know that Council Member Shannon Harden snuck up on us back there. Please welcome him this morning. 
We're going to hear from many great leaders uh, that are here with us today, Representative Herschel Craig and my dear friend Mr. Johnson and all of the great folks who helped bring us to this point today. You know, this center has always been the center of this neighborhood and this community. It's where many folks come to vote. Uh, where they come to recreate. In fact, my daughter is over there on the playground breaking it in as best she can here today. This is a whole different playground than the one she's used to uh, in our neighborhood. And as you know, if you have little ones, we hop all over the city looking for different, different playgrounds uh, to try out in different neighborhoods. So uh, she's doing her part here today because we want this center uh, to be the gathering place for this community where families and children are safe to come and play and recreate, where our seniors are welcome and safe to gather and to stay connected. Our centers are much more than just a place uh, to play basketball or to work out, but to stay connected to our neighbors because we know that our neighborhoods are what make this city so special. And as you've heard me say over and over again, my top three priorities are neighborhoods, neighborhoods, neighborhoods. And this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about, investing in the amazing neighborhoods and the great people that live there and lead them. How about a round of applause for the best division of fire in America? They're here today, our firefighters. And make sure you stick around today. You come and check out all of the great uh, amenities and this amazing facility that we built together. I didn't do this. Councilmember Page didn't do this. We did this because we invested our resources to make sure that we had a place worthy of our children and grandchildren. But stick around. We're going to have bounce houses. We're going to have a place for you to even to enjoy the Ohio State game. Hopefully you'll be dry uh, a little bit later on today. But spend the day here and gather and reconnect with your neighbors. This is all about Driving Park. And we are so thrilled to be with you to celebrate this today. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Mayor. We, we so appreciate your support and your leadership. It's uh, absolutely, I hear that every day, neighborhoods, neighborhoods, neighborhoods. Makes my job easy, right? So it's, uh, it's exciting. I want to recognize a couple other folks that we haven't yet. Uh, the president of the Driving Park Civic Association, who actively advocates for, for city council for improvements to this community, John Witten. Where's John? There he is. Sorry, sir. I just. And our Driving Park CRC, which is our Community Recreation Council president, who helps help us helps us support the center through programs, helps raise funds, uh, helps do all types of activities in the, the center, Tanya Robertson. She's hiding back there. And I tell you, I, I was saying this to a few people today. You know, when you walk in the center, you're going to see the energy and the excitement of the new building. And you're going to see it in the swimming pool. But the people who do it, the people who bring it to you every day, are this incredible staff we have. They're over my left shoulder here. They're, they're, they're trying to be discreet and hidden back here. But I want to introduce you to Will Font, Center Manager. <laughs> Sir Gregory Powell, Center Recreation Supervisor. Aretha Anderson, Heather Anderson, Gregory Bowman, Whitney Hodge, Linda Jeffers, David J Morgan Jones, Deshaun Pinnaker, Cheyenne Rizal, and Kent Schofield. Hey, they're hungry. They're ready. They can't wait to get to work for this community. I'm excited. There's so much fun to be around. I also want to recognize the, the folks who helped build the center. It takes a lot of expertise and, and dedication from our partners out there. Our architects, Mooney Nolan and MKSK. I saw uh, our MKSK partners back here in the back. And our contractors, R.W. Sutherland and Corda. They were been great partners to work for us. And you know, we've been doing these as reunions. The mayor's been about bringing our neighborhoods together and, and having family reunions. And so that's what this has been about. That's been our theme. And these reunions, we've, our partners have helped put them together. CareSource, Metro PCS, Local Matters, Power 1075, and Niagara Bottling and Giant Eagle. So I'd like to give a big hand to all of you folks. Thank you for being here and be a part of these reunions. So I've been in the Central Ohio area all my life, and I've known a lot of representatives, and we've got 
two state representatives here with us today that are absolutely incredible that work really hard for you. And one of the ones that I've known since I've been involved in recreation and parks is Representative Craig. Representative Craig works the hardest I've ever seen. He's everywhere. Every event I go to, he's there before I get there and he's there after I leave. <laughs> Representative Craig, thank you for being here, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I need to do this. Um, I thought a lot about it, uh, this center op opening today. I thought about the words of, of Micah in the scripture. It says, it says this, it lifts this query, it raises this interrogative. What does the Lord require of thee? And then the response comes back to do justly, to love mercy and to walk humbly before the Lord. Today for me, this is more than just about, about bricks and mortar. The mayor's already said it. But I think about the manifestation of a dream. I think about Jim Johnson, who is no longer with us, that fought so hard for this community. I thought about Herb Holloman, who has gone on that fought so long for this community. I thought about Cliff Tyree, who never left this community. And in fact, it would not be I know I can without a Cliff Tyree. I thought about Roberta Booth, who fought it, who lived a little further south, but fought for this community. I thought about a Katie Radford, who fought so hard for this community. And so today, it really is about all of them, and certainly our present leadership, who fights every day, single day for us. So this is really a manifestation of a dream. It's more than just coming in and doing athletics and which old folk like me, we gonna do some athletics. Uh, but it's really about uh, families and children coming to this center, uh, to enjoy this center. I understand there is a center, there's a senior, Mr. Cates, there's a, a senior uh, facility in this center. So I'm gonna be over here every day, <laughs> man. So uh, God bless you, this is a tremendous thing for this community. It is, it, if you don't mind this, me saying it, it's not hyperbole. This is one of the greatest communities in this city, bar none. And so, God bless you. Thank you for being here this morning. And have a great day. We do have a flag that, um, that who I consider to be one of the greatest uh, state representatives in our state, uh, who will soon assume another position. Uh, but we're going to be also, we flew a flag over the state house, and we're going to be presenting that to the Recreation Center here in just a little bit. God bless you. Thank you for being here today. He's not passionate at all, is he? <laughs> Another passionate leader who has given his life and served this community and been around, even as a city council member, is Representative Boyce. And we're so happy he could be here as well. Thank you, Representative Boyce. Good morning, Driving Park. Now, I don't know who put me on the agenda after Herschel Craig, but I'd like to see that person afterwards. Uh, let me take a moment. I know uh, Councilman Stenziano just showed up. Give him a round of applause. And certainly I'd like to thank the mayor and city council for their leadership in this grand opportunity today. Uh, yeah, give them a round. Give them another round of applause. You know. um, I'll be brief because I don't know that there's much more than I could add than what Herschel Craig just said. But as I look out into the audience, I see faces like great athletes from Central Ohio over time, like Kent Schoolfield from East High School and Jerry Saunders, who Mohawk was it? Jerry Mohawk. Mohawk. Uh, I see Malik Willoughby, who I ran track in high school with, and I I thought I saw Mr. Selinger here. Uh, so there he is, <laughs> Mr. Selinger. And I'm just reminded of the lives of young people in Central Ohio and the challenges that we often face coming and facing a lot of issues that we do in the community. But I can tell you this for sure, and I know this personally. Places like Driving Park, this center, is a center of strength for those young people. I'm absolutely confident, I'm absolutely confident 
that I can say beyond a shadow of a doubt that if it were not for Columbus Recreation and Parks and the work that they do to nurture young people and to facilitate opportunities and to guide young people, that many of those athletes that we just acknowledge would not be standing before you today. And that in itself is something to celebrate because, that's right, because this center, this dedication today is of but another example of the lives that will be changed and forever become a fabric of this great community. And so for that, we thank you, we acknowledge you, and God bless all of you for coming out today and supporting Driving Park. Thank you. And in, in addition to the flag, we have a resolution uh, honoring um, this ribbon cutting, this center, but most importantly, Driving Park as a community for its leadership, its work, and leading and guiding our whole city in its progress. We would like to present you with the flag from the State House. And we want to make sure that this is uh, clearly shown and, uh, in the center. And yes, we, God bless you. We thank you and all of your staff yes, for all that you are doing for our children and our families. Certainly, I would have to, re to remind myself to make sure that we thank uh, Director Collins for all that he is doing. Yes, and certainly to City Council, the mayor, and all of the community for all that they're doing. God bless you. Have a great day. This is the best part of my job, right? <laughs> so much fun, so much fun to celebrate a great community. The Driving Park Youth Baseball League president has been instrumental in becoming involved with our Major League Baseball's RBI program. He's, he's really helped take our Little League, Driving Park Little League to the next level here. He's also secured an $8,000 grant and funds to help as his four years as president. I want to thank Michael Johnson and have him come up here. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Mayor Genther, Councilmember Page, Representative Craig, Representative Boyce, Ms. Elliott, Mr. Font, and invited guests. On behalf of the Driving Park Youth Baseball League, I bring greetings. Today, September 10, 2016, is a day this community in the city of Columbus will never forget. I say that because on this day, we all have come together to celebrate the grand reopening of a landmark, the Driving Park Community Center. There are not enough words to express the gratitude that flows from my heart for the investment made into this building from our elected officials and the public that use and enjoy the facilities, youth programs, and attend community meetings here on a regular basis. Of particular interest to me is the tremendous support that our Youth Baseball League has enjoyed over the years. I learned a long time ago that collaborative partnerships between nonprofit community organizations like ours and the city make things happen. Here's an example of what I mean. In 2012, the Driving Park Youth Baseball League was comprised of 200 kids and 12 teams from here and across the city. In 2016, the season just ended, we had 325 kids and 20 teams from here and across the city. That's huge. Being able to use the baseball facilities here to host all of these kids and teams is a true blessing. Thanks to the city, we were able to obtain a Youth First grant to help pay for the cost of uniforms and equipment for our kids. Thanks to the city, we are able to use the beautiful baseball fields that you see here today. Thanks for the commitment from state officials like Representative Boyce, who spent many hours over the years supporting this league and other organizations like it to obtain equipment and supplies so that it can operate at little or no cost to the kids. Thanks to the commitment from Councilwoman Page and the rest of City Council for allocating the funds to make this a state-of-the-art community center for our kids and our families to use. Thanks to Mayor Ginther for his focus and dedication to improving our neighborhoods. Thanks to Representative Craig for his support and constant presence to help shape and guide this center into the future. Thanks to Mr. Collins for bringing new leadership and a direction to the Columbus Recreation and Parks Department. With only 15 months under his belt, he has already had a tremendously positive impact. 
And lastly, thanks to you. Without the unyielding support of the community from 1980 when the center was founded until this very moment, 36 years later, there would not have been the success we have enjoyed in so many ways throughout the year. The Driving Park Youth Baseball League will thrive thanks to the generous support of the community and the city. It's these types of working relationships that put the us in Columbus, and that makes me proud. Congratulations, and thank you. Boy, talk about having to follow somebody. Man, nice job. I'd like to also welcome and thank, you know, we, we just have so many people to thank. We're almost done, I promise, but <laughs> we'll be doing this all day. But I do want to bring up Miss uh, Terry Elliott, our Livingston Park Commissioner. And I, I know she wants to talk about a little bit about what's going on here as well. Thank you, everyone, for coming out today. This is a glorious day. Uh, Driving Park Rec Center has been the jewel of this community for a long time. Uh, children have used this as a home away from home. My children grew up here. My grandchildren grew up here. And we are very excited to have this new center. We're excited about the programming, the possible programming that it will afford us, senior programs, infant mortality programs, as we are the highest in the country, job training and placement programs, homework programs, food programs, after school programs. Our community has been blessed with this recreation center and the library, but there's still more to do. We need the help of our community members, our leaders, our city, city council, our mayor. We are working to build a community that is like no other. We are there, we are there, but just for, just for a few more steps. We need the youth to um, come take part of a beautiful center. Yes. We want the youth, the seniors, yes. the young adults to come and take part of what is yours. We built this. All of us, everybody you see here built this, and we're very excited about it. We need to work to build this community further. We need to work on our business association, the Rickenbacker Woods. We need to work on crime and safety prevention. We need to work on home and street renovation. We've done a lot. There's a lot more to do. But I'd like to take this time to thank the staff, Will, Sir Gregory, and all of their crew, the council members, our great mayor, our great, great mayor, all of the commissioners, all of the city civic heads. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We will use this center, and children, we will uplift this center. We will keep this center looking like it's looking now. We will, we will keep it looking just like it's looking now. This is our center. First, it belongs to you, so act like it's home. Thank you so much. Be blessed. All right, now, the part we've been waiting for, right? On that part right there. All right, don't let him drop it. All right, we'll hold the ribbon. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Did you make me miss the thing? It happened like that. I don't like to see you with one. We're ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, there's activities all day. There's cake at the food truck, festival activities there. Enjoy your new community center. Woo!